shared governance, which means that faculty, staff, and students work with administrators in order to make important decisions about curriculum, pedagogy, hiring, and so forth, now has been changed so that those decisions are seen as subordinate to and advisory to the chancellor. So it's not shared governance any longer. The second part is tenure. So the Republicans have complained that Wisconsin is the only system in the country, the only state in the country, mm -hmm. where tenure is part of state law. So they removed that because they thought that was uh, an inappropriate uh, sort of exception for Wisconsin to have. But then they immediately put back into state law provisions to allow tenured faculty to be, faculty to be fired for all sorts of reasons uh, determined really by chancellor and, uh, and the Board of Regents um, so that One's curious why it's okay to have be the only state in the nation that has the uh, guidelines for firing tenured faculty in state law, but not be the only state in the nation to have tenure in state law. What are now being called uh, by the uh, in a report by the Wisconsin uh, uh, WPRI called CEO chancellors will now be able to determine on their own what programs their universities should invest in and even what programs should be continued. Now we, we hear tell that um, kind of top flight uh, professors are already getting offers. I'm sure that that's happening. Uh, I've been contacted myself to invited to apply to a prestigious position which I probably won't at this point do. Um, but undoubtedly people will leave. And what will that do? Uh, it's not clear. I think there's talk about mass exodus, and I don't think there will be a mass exodus because higher education has been so dramatically cut across the country that there is an oversupply of highly qualified faculty. So that Madison has an excellent faculty, for example, in English, my, my discipline, but there are many other excellent faculty who are prepared to take their place. So the consequences are less about losing good people because we have an oversupply of good people. The consequences are about losing control of the curriculum and having students get an education that's subject to uh, the whims of politics and so forth.